What is up, YouTube? Um, doing something slightly even differenter than before. Um, this is kind of my first unboxing, um, much more informal, so this doesn't get the jersey. But you still get the hat, because, you know, gotta have the hat. Anyway, um, I got something really cool for my birthday. My favorite present for myself. And... <laughs> We're talking this. Oh, we are talking this. And so we are going to open this up together. So I have not. This is virgin. So you're going to be getting genuine oohs, ahs, and stuff. And yes, I know other people have already reviewed it because they got theirs about a week earlier than I did, but I got mine from Amazon. So let's have some fun. Let's uh, see what the hype is about. Um, first thing I will say is, oh my god, this box is heavy! It's got some serious weight. And look at the picture. I mean, the blazing sword is blazing. And on the back, got all the lions. This is all in English, by the way. All this here is in English. So, go ahead and take the slip cover off. I did take the plastic off, and I took the, I actually took the slip cover off, and then had second thoughts, and I realized let's do a live unboxing. So, well, semi-live. So, slip cover. And now this is now saying go Leon. And this is all in Japanese right there. So I am not even going to put this on Twitter. Well, I might put some of this on Twitter in a, in a minute, which, of course, if you follow me, is at True Star Screamer. And um, also, we're going to have a semi guest star in all this. I am going to be kind of chatting with my buddy T Man 978, who I highly recommend on his YouTube channel. And so you might hear us talking casually. So, basic overall nerd stuff. So let's have some fun. Okay, here is the box. Kind of, kind of got all set up. Um, see if I can work on reducing some of this glare. Uh, if I should just shut off that light there. Nope, that still gives me glare. That takes care of some of the glare. So I hope that works out light-wise for you guys. There we go. Alright, this is my first time doing anything like this. So, uh, only a little bit of face, I'll get out of there. So, here we got the packaging. Here we got the cell phone. Hey team man, you are on my first official unboxing. I am recording, so yes, watch what you say. And yes, we can talk normal stuff like we normally do. So, um, yeah, say hi. All right, let's get this box open. Maybe team man's a little shy. Ooh, that smells good. Now, the way they got it boxed here, um, styrofoam's actually on this side, so this is actually box side up. And we got some plastic trays. This is the display stand that'll be set up here. So you can see there's definitely an imprint for the spinny shield thing. Um, they are the sides of the walls. I was watching Bobby Skull, Uncle Bobby's Skull Faces video. So I know the knives and stuff will go here, and all the various weapons will plug in on here. So uh, we'll open that up in a second. Got the instructions. Instructions just say go lie on. 
and I always hate. The, I understand why they do the tape, but I always gotta make sure you gotta get the tape off right because it's either, well, for me at least, the instruction manual always gets always gets stuck on the tape. But um, really nice book here. Um, get some information about the show, some of the promotion artwork, some of the original sketches. I remember like so the eye beams and when you shot the weird little darts from his crown. Um, just a couple of different sketches here. I kind of wish this was in English just because I'm sure this is like really awesome stuff. And oh, something fell out. <clears throat> Sorry for the edit point. Um, just I was kicking the camera a couple times. Little sticker sheet came out. So it's got the numbers of the lions. Back to the instruction book. Um, this is kind of cool. Like that's like apparently like the original design of Go Lion, which is like a really bad Power Ranger. I am. Let's see if I get that light back on here help a little not so much um, there we go that's a little better but I am that looks like something I got from a Sentai series and hey T-Man finally replied back I am opening up the Super Chagokin Voltron Golion thing. What did you open up? Um, we have a little character artwork here. A uh, little of the lion designs. This is so cool. And full color pictures. All in Japanese. So we got a little breakdown of the lions all, all the weapons plug into this is really a nice setup here and then of course how to set up the display stand which we'll be looking at in a little bit so overall pretty cool um, okay of this is kind of interesting I've seen in some videos where people have just been unplugging the tails of the lions it looks like you can leave the tails on so we'll see when we get to that so Put that over here for now. It's a surprise. And I usually refer to that thing here we're talking about as Voltron. Because I live in America. I grew up on Voltron and then I became an anime geek. Sorry. And it says it on the box, Go Lion. So. Okay, well, on the inside box, which I show when you finally watch this video, and T-Man's like the other guy who watches the videos. I don't know who the other two people are, but he's the main guy. Um, we got the weapons here. So, we've got the two called the Solar Swords. Um, apparently this was called a Shotgun Spike. Um... Got, this is all in a clamshell, by the way, so this is all to be taken apart. All the weapons that plug into the lions. Um, little Voltron rage face, looks like. And we'll see on that. So you're wrong, you're wrong. When you're in America, you only refer to Voltron as Voltron. Nothing else. <sighs> I know, I know, but the the and the outside box says Voltron, and the inside box says Go Lion, so I can call it both. Speaking of, let's get to these guys. 
Yes, welcome to my world. Oh, God. If you have not seen the Bobby Skullface video on this, um, he does this great little thing where he opens up the box and just takes a moment. And when you look at this, you want to take a moment. This is, this is glorious. This is, this is absolutely glorious. Um, so let's see how T-Man's going to ruin my mood. No, no, it, it's Voltron. Yeah, and I just took the uh, Styrofoam insert out. This is absolutely freaking beautiful. Okay, we're going to go really meta. I'm going to videotape me videotaping. Dude, when you get the, if you ever get this in hand, there is zero regrets. It's gorgeous. Dude, when you get the, if you ever get this in hand. Okay, yeah, I hate, I, I hate that part with Facebook. But, um, this is, this is, this is beautiful. This is, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, man, I feel like I should be wearing gloves or something. The Blazing Sword. That's a little cross in here. Huh. Definitely keeping that night imagery on here. Everything in the styrofoam is put in plastic to prevent paint rub and stuff. Um, here's the flying spear shield thing. Uh, these are the jaw daggers for the lions, appropriately colored. The fist lions, they get the ones with the daggers in there. Then the legs get the side blades, it looks like. And then the black lion gets the other side blade, I think. Wait. Well, we'll see. Oh god, I don't know which one to start with. We'll go we'll start with the blue. Oh man. I will be doing a formal review. I don't know if I should be doing the video review. Um on the lions or if I should do a video review on just assembling Voltron um, we'll find out <laughs> a little later this month but oh my gosh this is sweet so I'll go through some of the basics just as I'm going through here you can feel the cold in the metal that's the best part but look this actually opens up here so you get you get oh listen to the clicking the hind leg opens up This, this, uh, let's see if I made T-Man jealous yet. Nope, not yet. Um, flip out the tail. Oh, God, look. Confused doggy or confused kitty. This is beautiful. Lime opens up. Meow, roar. Um, space to put a sticker on there. I am debating about the stickers. I really am. Or do I want to keep it as pure as possible? Eh, still nothing here. Jeez. I, should, I almost feel like I should be wearing gloves. I mean, you leave fingerprints on this. Which is cool and sad at the same time. Oh, man. Isn't that, isn't that click? This is just one lion. I'm so glad that this is as a gift set because, God, if I had to buy these individually. Um, that pops up for like some kind of missile launcher in the back, I guess. Some kind of turret, maybe. And I thought the show, at least the old toy, the red thing, whole red thing lifted up, but I could be wrong. And the tail itself is on a little ball joint. 
So. And does it have, it has like a little rear app crunch too. So you can have them, you can have it sitting down. Standing all regal like, because it's the la because the princess is in here. Oh, right. I don't remember in the show, but they would actually sometimes launch the heads of the lions almost like a spaceship. So, I know it happened like one or two times in the US show. I don't know how the Japanese one goes. I have not watched the Japanese sub of it, which I think would be kind of cool. And then like this part here is supposed to flip out for a heel spur. So, definitely beautiful. So that's the leg. Um, let's look at Lance's Red Lion. And again, die cast on the legs, and that's it on this one. Die cast on the legs, that was it, yeah. Now, the Red Lion's a lot smaller. I mean, I know the arms and all, or arms are smaller than legs, per, but, um, like, I was looking at the Toy Biz one, but that's a dramatic difference between the two. So, at least the Toy Biz ones, while the leg ones were a little bigger, they still were all kind of semi in scale. I mean, this, this looks like the parent, and that's the kid. And I know in... The DreamWorks, you know, the red lion's like the beast. When the red lion comes after, it's like, oh, shit. No, pardon my language. But still, the legs open up. It'd be kind of cool if it kind of, like, extended. Oh, it does extend. Cool. And since it is an arm, it's got more of an ab crunch. Same thing, the head popping off. Um, I actually... I haven't looked at the, all the instructions as obviously, but um, it would have been kind of neat if the neck could have extended out a little or something. And then this flips. Uh, the jaws do open up, and there is a little gun system in there. So, and I'm don't worry, I'm not going to go through all the lines in this video, but this is pretty neat. And of course, since it is an elbow, he's got the wrist swivel on there. Which also has a little more dynamics to it. Roll over, boy. As weird as it is, I'm actually a little disappointed on the neck on this. Okay, this is a little embarrassing. Um, I'm going to edit this one right before... I want to like, splice this in right before the uh, little extra of telling calling for care and all. But I was kind of annoyed with the uh, arm line for not having much of a neck, but... It does have one, so it extends out, so that kind of helps out a little. Still a little small, but big difference. Okay, if I didn't find that, I would have been annoyed. So, head goes flying out. Okay, we now return you to your regular out, your regular review. Um, I was smart on that one. I opened the box horizontally or vertically at first just to see which end of the tray. So before I slid anything out. So I got it right the first time. I'm going to tell T-Man what I just told you guys. So one thing that kind of got me is the leg lion is so much larger than the arm lion. That's one thing I kind of liked with the Playmates one. The scale was not so dramatic. So one thing that that kind of got me is... God, that annoys me. The leg lion is... So right now we're just going to look at the one leg, the one arm... 
And we'll go ahead and pull out the main guy here. Jeez, the whole box flipped out. This, oh God, the weight. Again, the weight. Um, SOC is, I mean, these are the Super Chagokin, which Chagokin is for metal. And this, this is, this is die cast. This is die cast. The claws are die cast. Um, this doesn't, this doesn't feel die cast, but it's got the weight to it and it feels cool. Like this, this is, I think, painted metal. So we got a lot of metal on, on, on the main line. Uh, that's going to be the hips. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. We'll save that for that video review. So we'll get the money shot there, but dang, I feel like I really should have worn gloves with this. Check this out. A little pause. Like those have kind of like articulation too. And me and T-Man are like this like every couple nights. Drives my wife nuts, but... Yeah, I mentioned that in my review that um the lines were really, really close to the same size. Even the leg lines were really close to the black line size. Are the legs die-cast on the, the actual individual lion legs? Are they die-cast? Gee, sounds like what we've just talked over. Yes, the uh, leg, the legs on the lions are die cast on both the legs and the arms, um, and the black lion has got a ton of die cast on him. A uh, good part of his body, as well as the hips, the serious ratchets on the hips. So, got the wings here, and again, fully opposable tail on a ball joint. Oh, listen to that ratchet. You don't hear that on a US on a toy sold in the US. I'm gonna say domestic toys because heck, Marvel Legends, the Bandai Power Ranger stuff, that's still all made in Asia. It's not like made in a US plant, but they don't put this on for toys in the US market. So yeah. We got that going on. We got that going on. And then we got that going on. It's like the three Billy Goats Gruff, which is one of my daughter's favorite stories. So yeah, uh, this is the basic unboxing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't plan on doing a lot of these because I don't buy big projects like these, but this one is something special. Um, I will say I have the Megazord Daizujin coming in as well. Um, that's supposed to come out, I think, in March. Oh god, I gotta find a place to put it. That's the one thing about getting those big things. I just don't know where they're gonna go. But um, this is this is pretty epic. Uh, if you grew up in the 80s and you're a high-end collector, you need this. Uh, just flat out. I haven't done the full review. I haven't even started building Voltron. Oh, this is such a good king. Such a good king. Uh, I mean, seriously, I just like, put it on my shoulder and just have it camp there for a while. Uh, but, um, this is like, when you think about remembering a toy, like, oh my god, how awesome what it was, and then you finally find the toy from back in the age, and you're like, eh. You know, this is that feeling. Um, they don't make stuff like this for the domestic market. And yes, this is a pretty penny. When I pre-ordered this, my wife was like, are you kidding me? I mean, yeah, she actually found it on the Amazon account. But since I got the new job, this is for that. And then the Daisujin's coming in. This is a whole different level. This is like crazier than when you buy your first masterpiece toy, crazier than when you buy your first figure art crazier when you first buy your first third-party combiner all the way through. As I look over at um, Felrex and Computron, uh, this is seriously next level. And I can't even express the real emotion going through me. This is super dopamine rush. 
of buying something cool. I mean, this is, yeah. So tell me what you think. Hope you guys enjoy. Again, give me a thumbs up. I'll try to get a couple of pictures of these out on my Instagram and on my Twitter at True Star Screamer. Time. Thank you very much. Take care. Kara, tell them what they gotta do. Like, comment, and subscribe.